Hello students, welcome to EduAid. My name is Amarjit Dev. I am the assistant professor at Assam Don Bosco University, Guwahati. Well friends, today uh, we will be coming up to a very important lesson. All the lessons are important, but this lesson is more important because this lesson is all about implementation. Okay, I mean Zibur, Zibur Kam Hikisu, but whatever theories and practices we have learned and understood, now the time has come to implement. Okay, so therefore uh, I need to write, we will be starting with functions of management. Okay. Now you will see that management thinkers across the globe and also in Indian context have said that in any organization managers need to perform certain functions in order to accomplish the work and these functions are interdependent and interrelated amongst all the other functions and as a result we say that management is a continuous process. Remember yesterday when we discussed features of management, we said management is a continuous process. So when it comes to functions, let us uh, first highlight and learn what are those functions. Okay. The various function of management, we begin by writing planning. Okay. Now, what is planning? I am a Hunisu turn to plan bully. I am a boat jagat Hunisu. Okay, uh, you must have heard, or there is a common proverb which says that plan the work, plan the work, and work the plan. Okay, so planning is considered to be the first function of management. Okay, very important function. It decides in advance what needs to be done. Okay, it, it is a course of action, but the thinking has to be before that. So it is based on some predetermined objectives. Some thinking is done and then the course of action is determined. That is in brief what planning is. Next function is organizing. You just try to draw a chart or whatever you feel is convenient. Organizing. What is organizing? Organizing refers to the harmonious adjustments of the various elements of the management function. Okay. It means that, you know, to arrange the things such as the various resources uh, in a systematic manner in order to get the work done. You need to be organized. I mean, this person is very organized or this manager is very organized. So your thought process, your marketing strategy, your accounting decisions, everything has to be very, very organized. And this organized uh, uh, manner must, uh, tomorrow decision making or government, tomorrow priority is very important. Priority mane buzi paisane, priority otto hole. I mean, sabot ke besi important come to sabor agot kori The most important work needs to be done first. So you must decide your priorities. That is related to organizing harmonious relationship among all the elements of the management. Okay. Or all the various elements or resources. Okay. So the second function is this is point number two. This is the second function of management. Okay. Let's go to the third function staffing. Stuffing. What is stuffing? Stuffing means refers to filling and keeping the posts open for prospective candidates to apply and get selected. Okay. It is the process of recruiting prospective candidates. Okay. Uh, if you have elder brothers or relatives, amongst the relatives, you know, there are a lot of placements happen in campus. On campus placements, William Eko, for final year degree students, master degree students, okay, where companies come and recruit freshers. So that's stuffing. If you go back to my previous lesson, you must have remembered the lower level management or organizational setup. 
তার পিছত কি আসে রিক্রুটমেন্ট হয় না নয় সো দ্যাট ইজ রিলেটেড টু স্টাফিং ফাংশন দ্যাট মিন্স ফিলিং দ্য ফিলিং দি অর্গানাইজেশন উইথ দ্য রাইট পিপল এট দ্য রাইট প্লেস এট দ্য রাইট টাইম ওকে সো উই রাইট আওয়ার থার্ড ফাংশন উইচ ইজ উইচ ইজ স্টাফিং ওকে লেট আস গো টু দ্য ফোর্থ ফাংশন অফ ম্যানেজমেন্ট উইচ ইজ which is directing okay what is directing or it is also known as directing or leading okay directing is providing guidance to the team okay as a supervisor you are the leader in the team you will provide guidance to the team you will give them inputs you will give them suggestions to improve you will tell them where they are going right or whether they are going in the wrong direction okay that is called directing okay indirectly it leads to the next function actually when you direct okay when you ask people to do the right thing and you know that people are following you what do you what do you think you are assured that the work is going on in the right manner okay so let us write the fourth function which is thikase all of you clear are you writing it down okay let us move to the last function which is which is controlling okay that is the fifth function which is controlling okay what do you mean by controlling controlling means bringing together the actual results as close as possible or closer to the benchmark or to the target tar mane ki for example if this is the benchmark 60% is your benchmark for getting first division right i'm just giving an example so controlling here means the teacher or the parent try supposing tomar hs uh, test or result is somewhere below okay let us say it is around in the range of 50 between 50 to 60 so this is the gap in your performance this needs to be taken up so when you're talking of control function it indirectly means a lot of planning if you want to increase your performance a lot of organizing in terms of your resources and your work plan there's a lot of staffing to teneke nai but staffing can be in the form of a coaching uh, institute or a teacher who will come and teach you for the subject where you are not doing very well so that can be a staffing and directing from your parents and teachers and at the same time as i said this leads to this function why because when you are directing you are also indirectly monitoring and controlling so what is happening now the performance of the student actually goes up because he has he or she has been given a lot of guidance here and that's why we say management is pervasive management is universal which means it it is not only applicable for organizations i often tell my students that you know you can apply management principles if an if you are if an organization is applying and improving by earning more profits getting more growth you can do, do it in your same way you can apply all the principles of management you can apply all the functions of management in your own study and your own work life and you'll find as a student you are excelling you are doing very well as a student because you 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 are planning your work you are getting your resources in place you are trying to ensure that you get inputs from the right people that way you can apply staffing and you are you know following the direct direction and you know you are controlling self determination and control and discipline namely the discipline bully ko it is it falls under controlling okay in order to improve your performance clear all of you okay so just write down a question uh, explain the various functions of management okay hey to question thakile tomaloke you please explain all these are the various functions of management okay in my next lesson we will be taking each function at a time to understand uh, in details uh, the various steps and the functions of each of these functions okay students individually or tomorrow kora hibo pare horu question like directing or jagat you know you can you can be given a statement to identify which function of management it is okay whether it is a supervisory function whether it is a staffing function or whether it is a control function performed by various supervisors supervisor performs all these functions so tomorrow kora horu case eta hibo pare identify the function of management so tomorrow ke definition to janile meaning to janile you can identify okay thank you